Yeah. Speaking of Russia, since it's a hot topic right now, yeah. how was your time in Russia? Interesting to say what, was it, Did you see this coming? What's going on in the world right now? So I was there in 2014 when they like went into Crimea. I played with a guy yeah. who played in Donbass, Ukraine. They had a great KHL team and their rink was blown up. And, what does like, KHL an attack. stand for? Continental Hockey League, which I don't okay. really know what that has to do with Is Russia. That what it's C? Yeah, that's it's what I was K. just thinking. To the K. Allegedly. It's, so I they don't give a fuck. So in, in, in Russia, when you're the captain, you don't have a C on your shirt, you have a K. That kind of goes hard to me. So it is pretty, it's pretty good drip. I'm not yeah, going to lie. Yeah. I fucking hate Russia, but I I'm not. using the drip word too. So, That's nice. So, yeah. Well, I don't have a tinted visor to wear to say, yeah. oh. I told you it's different. It's different. <laughs> so Russia was great. Um, I was in Sochi, which they call the San Diego of Russia, which always cracked me up. <laughs> they had the, that's what they say. Because it doesn't really snow there. They had the Olympics there in 2014. I lived in, uh, the old like athletes village, which was a ghost town. It was so bizarre. It was like one of those, you hear about like the Olympics now, they go to cities and then when they leave, there's just nothing. It was yeah. like this Olympic village that was just done. Ghost town. So they put us up there. See, it is pretty nice looking. And, uh, the San Diego of Russia. And, um, so when I, I was, that, I hope that's on a billboard there. Somewhere. When I was there. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. It's definitely on a billboard in backwards letter. I don't even know their, their, their alphabet's different, but, um, I remember so we had a driver. So all the imports hang out. Every team in the KHL is allowed five imports. So just non-Russians. There was a Canadian, a Finn, a Swede, a U.S. guy, myself. And there was just say there's six. We had a Czech goalie. And um, sounds like the joke Will was gonna tell. It was a crazy. Yeah, that yeah, was the, yeah, the, the joke. Swede, the Finn. Hey, the guys, I have a joke. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so we, we fucking get Will. So we get uh, Will's heartbeat going, boys. Oh, so it's, listen, it's so we right a driver now. because you can't drive over there. And I joined the you, team. On, you, hey, you, I actually did what you did. I kind of, I was like, I'm not going to the KHL until after training camp. Training camp, you leave July 1st to the KHL. So midsummer, all the guys in the NHL. I go, I'm not. Before the July. I'm not going. Yeah. Until after camp. So I actually didn't sign until middle of October. And um, I get over there and there's a driver. There's a driver for all the imports. You can't drive over there. And why like, can't you drive over there? Because like it's Russia. Like they'll fucking take you, and it's just you don't. There's no chance an import can drive over there. Every team has a driver for the imports, and so this guy's driving. Yeah, this guy's driving wild. us. It's the second day, <laughs> yeah. and all of a sudden the cops are behind us. I'm like, oh fuck! And the cops, we get pulled over. The guy pulls over Vadim. I'll never forget. I have a picture. I'm in the hot tub with Vadim. He's my boy. I haven't oh, spoken to him since I left. So the cop walks up to the window. And he puts down the window like this far, and Vadim just takes a bunch of cash, a bunch of rubles, and just hands it out the window. And rubles, the cop, is that like marbles or is rubles, that like the currency? That's the cash. Got you. And hands it to the cop, and he says, blah, 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 and leaves. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, that's dude. It. And the best part about that story was when I had been on the Penguins fucking eight years before that, Evgeny Malkin, superstar, Hall of Fame, one of the best players of all time, he came over. It was his rookie year. He's living with Sergey Gonchar. Penguins guy. Sergey Gonchar was a great defenseman, unbelievable player, and he was a Russian as well. So Malkin lived with him his rookie year, and he didn't have a license, and he got pulled over driving a car, a Porsche, had no business driving, and he doesn't know. He's from Russia, Magnitogorsk, and the cop pulled him over, and he just put down the window, and handed him a bunch of money. And the cop's like, what the fuck? <laughs> that, <laughs> Russia, bro. <laughs> that is fucking so wild. So I got a call from the Pittsburgh police and went down there. And like, yes. They don't know. It's just a different life. But I'll say this. As miserable as I was, my favorite memory of that of my time in okay. Russia, too, was uh, it was when I'm a Pats fan, being from Boston area. Tough. Yeah, it's been a real tough run. I... Uh, I, I had sling I had a sling fucking box. This departed ass dude so I, talking yeah, the way. I mean, all these hey, we gotta go somewhere. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I can't tell you where we're going. Sorry, we're winners. Yeah. So yeah. Who's pa- guy we pass, taking? I'm on the paths of the south though. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so So I I sling boxed. I recorded the Pats Seattle Super Bowl. And I and I because I knew so I I didn't, I shut off the game. It would have been like three in the morning. I went to practice. I had my phone off and I knew nobody at the game would have, like Russians don't know football. They don't know. So nobody said a word. I went home and I watched the game 12 hours later, had no clue and got to like see the Butler interception. Like it was live to me. But um, the reason I just thought of that because I hated being in Russia. It was miserable. You know, it was just tough. It was this, you can't talk to anyone. And, and um, now I look back on it. And as miserable as I was, I'm like so happy I did it. 
because it was, you know, it was an experience and I got to go through some stuff that probably I didn't love at the time. And in the end, I'm like, oh my God, I'm really happy I did it. And I went over there and I had a couple of buddies who'd been there and left and they'd be like, there's no chance you're going to last. You're so bougie, you bitch. You're not going to fucking make it a week. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not fucking leaving this place. And like, we had double sessions some days and I gutted it out. So that's what I'm proud about. So when you when you go out in town there, like, do you have to have like a, so, someone walk you or escort you around? It wasn't like... A going out like there, it, it was what weird. About the San Diego, yeah. Area. Trust me, when they say San Diego or Russia, they might as well say like uh Sacramento of Russia. It's terrible. It's oh, that's trash. right. That's, that's where it's I was like, born. Sac- I would, I would, I would, <laughs> where I was born. I would move to Sacramento and you were born in Sacramento. Yeah. Are you? Shit. Sorry to hear no, that, bro. It's area, it's area. <laughs> were you scared to go out all the time in Russia? We didn't really go out. Honest to God, we did not go out. But when you found yourself out, were you kind of like, yo, fuck I didn't. Out, I, I never. We we would. The imports would have drinks in the in our like dorm and just hang out. And one guy had his wife there, and we we were kind of like our own family within the team. Was we wouldn't. Like, oh, your guys' wife or what was it? No, yeah, wasn't like, yeah. What's up, how'd Susie? You scratch that in, dude? <laughs> I Facetimed my girl and got it going on God that one. Bless. That <laughs> I sure got act. I mean, the UG, the UG, the UG, get down. Got, yeah. it was, they they might have blocked it in Russia at that yeah. point, but I didn't go out. I didn't do anything. And they they had curfews too. It was like the Baza. That's what I'm saying. There was like there wasn't a chance to go out before games. On the road, you couldn't do anything. I had a buddy who played in Moscow who loved it. I just didn't have the same experience. Yeah. Biz came on and was talking about AK-47s, bags of money being left at the locker. Like, did you have any experiences with the... Uh, I had a guy, uh, like we had this kid, um, what was his name? Mik- Mikkel Anison. And we played in a, a game one time, and all of a sudden, like, after the game, I look over, and he had, like, a buddy come in the room, and all of a sudden, he's got a handgun. He's waving it around. His buddy bought him a handgun. I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, brand new, brand new. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. But in terms of the cash, <laughs> they would get direct deposit. I had, like, an Italian bank within Russia. It was kind of weird. I remember, actually, I told my, my wife now. She wasn't at the time. I got home, and all this money in this russian italian bank account and i had no clue how to get it home i'm like how the fuck am i gonna get this money home like there's italian there's russian i don't know what i'm doing i'm so bad on the computer anyways i said if you can get this money back to me i'll get you any bag you want and like that night it was in my bank of america account i'm like okay we're going shopping tomorrow no so shit. i had no clue how to get home i actually heard a great story um before the khl was formed it was called the russian super league when it was really no rules mm. like completely off the wall and there was a goalie who had like 400 grand. They pay American cash over there too back then. He had $400,000 American cash and he had no clue how to get it home without dealing with the taxes. He's looking to just get this money home. What do I do? So he cut his pads. He cut into the pads and he put all the cash into each pad, 200 grand in each pad and he sewed it back up and then he checked his equipment. And so on the flight home, he has no idea. Like he's like, when I get back there, like if this equipment's there, like the money not be in it, and he got home, he got back, the equipment came, you know, across the uh, whatever it called, and he looked and he's like, oh my god, it's back. And he got all the money home that way. No so it's shit. like, it's yeah, it's a panic. Savage, man. That was oh, back when it was like so illegal. old school illegal stuff. Dude, that's fucking hardcore. Russia's crazy. What can you tell us about the Russian gas and the vitamins? The Russian gas is nuts. I played a game. Well, what's um, Russian gas? So Russian gas is. I remember hearing Biz before say, before say, the game. Oh, we just regurgitating <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yeah. I love he that. Said, he said he said uh, my man was on some vitamins one time. I was like, do, do we know what kind of vitamins they were? He's like, oh, you'll have to ask Wit. No, so, so, hey, uh, so here we are. So, God, yeah. so I was playing <laughs> and scene. Let's yeah. do this. <laughs> and now I have the joke. So listen yeah. to my joke. So uh, <laughs> the guy, the guys, so that one just keeps living, and I love it, dude. <laughs> so I don't forget stuff. So the guys um, that I was playing with the Russian guys before the game. Like after warmups, I'm talking like 10 minutes before a puck drop, they'd go in and all of them would be on an IV. And I'm like, what is going on? What is that? And the guy's like, you try, you try, you try, you try, you feel strong, you feel strong. I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And finally, we played a game, uh, Dynamo Moscow. There's like CSKA Moscow, there's Dynamo Moscow, the two big teams there. And the team was good. And I was like, all right, fuck this. Like, ah, I don't, this is my probably my last year playing hockey. And I went in, and after warmth, I got this IV, and I got on the ice. I was like, oh, my God, I am flying. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm like, I'm going to play in the NHL again. 
<laughs> no, it's like, this isn't over. This isn't over. I'm calling my agent. I'm like, call all these teams. I'm back. Our season ends in March. Bring me in for the playoffs. I feel them as I'm high stepping out there, a couple assists. And then the game ended. And the next day we had practice. And I was like, wait a minute. I suck again. <laughs> what the hell was that? And it was, I don't know what was in it. And some teams actually had like, you put the gas mask on and you'd like, I don't know what you were inhaling. And some teams had the IVs, but it was a hundred percent something. Cause I was buzzing out there. Did you inhale? I didn't, I did the IV. I never did the gas. I never did the Russian gas, but my gas was an IV. I considered all the same thing. It's basically performance enhancing something from Russia. Right. <laughs> I hope you guys like this clip. If you want to continue to be for the boys, you need to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, and check out our playlist. We have all the links right here on the screen. As always, biggest of hugs and tiniest of kisses. Also, go check out the full episodes, but always for the boys.